Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaaf. A hot Friday afternoon in progress. Wanted to note that today we hit 93. That's the hottest temperature we've had all year. So we've been at 92 a couple of times. Today's high temperature at 93 degrees. Here's the last couple of hours for the temperature trend. We've been in the low 90s since early this afternoon. It was an observation between the hour when we made it up to 93. And not a far cry from the record high for today, which is 96 degrees. So a hot September afternoon. And for some of us, it's been a wet one on the WLWT radar. Nothing severe, nothing too concerning right now. They have seen a couple of severe storms to our north earlier for the afternoon. Nothing currently, but it's our northern county. Some heavier rain sinking south from Dayton and some of it building into Warren County. There's also activity along the Butler, or I'm sorry, the Hamilton as well as Claremont County line there near Loveland. So these thunderstorms, a lot of heavy rain, a lot of lightning, and you'll also note some of the green lines kind of heading out ahead of the storms. Those are outflow boundaries. They'll shift the winds. The winds will pick up. The temperature will drop back, and we'll watch those outflow boundaries for the possibility of some development of additional storms along them. So up into Warren County from Waynesville down through or Oregonia into Lebanon, some heavy rain, a lot of lightning. Earlier, Waynesville had a report of three-quarter inch hail. There's our hail scope not indicating any currently, but the potential for some small hail with some of these thunderstorms. They're building basically and slowly sinking south. This one has developed over Loveland in the last 45 minutes. It's sinking south, southeast, and to the eastern part of the 275 loop, the potential for some heavy rain to build in. I don't think we'll see these too much longer. They'll continue into our evening, but should quiet down for the late evening. So depending on where you're at, could be impacting your Friday evening football plans. 92 degrees currently. That temperature dropping back a degree or two, but still feels like 95. A southwest wind at six miles an hour. Temperatures eventually dropping back into the upper 80s through our evening. Those storms will start to fade over the next couple of hours. Our weekend forecast running about the same. The area of high pressure, that heat. Staying situated in southwestern parts of Kentucky, we still have the heat around for us tomorrow. Highs expected back into the low 90s. Another stray storm could pop up for Saturday. I think we'll see fewer of them on Sunday. We actually have some additional high pressure edging in from the east. And so it looks like Sunday's still hot, but more likely to be dry. Tonight we drop off to 68. Warm and muggy storms will start to dissipate through our evening. Should dry out for the overnight. 91 tomorrow. It's still going to feel just as hot with that heat index back around 94 to 95. A light southwest. Wind and your fireworks forecast on Sunday. Still expecting a high in the afternoon around 90 degrees. When the fireworks go off, muggy and warm, that temperature around 80. And note the light winds. We've had this problem a couple of times locally where the light winds when the fireworks go off cause some obstruction for viewing them. There'll be a light east wind at the surface and a loft at about three to 5,000 feet. So I don't think that smoke's going to blow around a lot. So it could be a little bit of obscured view for the fireworks. It will be a warm one either way. 90 on Sunday, 90 on Monday, 90 on Tuesday. We finally have a strong cold front. More widespread storms mid next week. That should start to drop back.